Mark May, quick feet, strong, smart player. Huge when he played. I mean, you know, he was 6'6", six, his might even be bigger than that. He's got like 18 size, 18 shoe, or whatever. I mean, he's a monster. And long arms and just a tremendous athlete. And Mark May, just a junior, 6'5", 280, could very well next season be the best offensive lineman in the country. During his pit career, Mark earned the nickname May Day. If the team was in distress, you had a third or fourth and short, you're going behind number 73. McMillan, back of Jones, nice and touchdown. As a senior in 1980, Mark anchored our offensive line. He was the first winner in pit history of the prestigious Outland Trophy. One of many great pit offensive linemen during that era. It was pretty obvious he was verbal enough to take his football career and extend it into the booth. And he did it with uh, a lot of class and a lot of dignity and was always a great uh, salesman for the University of Pittsburgh. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of your colleagues here, uh, Mark May, he was out on campus uh, the year that I won the Heisman Trophy. And I, I threatened him. I told him, you must come to the University of Pittsburgh, even though he's twice my size. And he believed me, man. He knew I would do something bad to him if he didn't come. But it's, cause, it's people like Mark, the Mark Mays and the Larry Fitzgeralds that, that helped build your program and bring it back to prominence, which, which we're on our way back to now. Just a good friend, uh, happy for him to be in the Pitt Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Mark.